Oh, welcome back guys, it's Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2 and in this video we are going to be discussing Boolean data or Boolean depending on how you would like to pronounce that. <laughs> Boolean data is anything that is either true or false. So this is similar to binary which is in two states. You can think of zero as false and one as true. So let's create a new file that we can use to test some of this Boolean data. All right, so in here, we are going to create a Boolean variable. So to do that, you put an underscore bool with a capital B. Then you make some variable name, and that is how you declare a Boolean variable. Now, pay attention to the naming convention here. This is what's known as camel case, if I haven't told you guys. Essentially, the first character is lowercase, and then every word after that starts with an uppercase letter. This is one popular way to name things in C. Another is to do underscore, so you could do something like this, but make everything lowercase. Now you're probably wondering why in the world did I name this Caleb is fat? Seems like an odd variable name. I named this variable Caleb is fat, not because he is, but rather because he might be. <laughs> I'm not saying hey, Caleb is fat. I am saying Caleb is fat is either true or false. <laughs> this is the foundation of Boolean logic. You will find Boolean logic in many subjects, including discrete math, computer engineering, computer science, and a ton of other cool useful stuff. Now, we've declared this variable, but how do we assign a value to the variable? In order to do this, we have to ask ourselves: is Caleb fat? Now, I wouldn't go so far as to say I'm fat, but I could use some trimming around the waist. <laughs> In fact, I had to buy new dress clothes for my videos because I'm so fat. <laughs> Therefore, I'm going to say, yes, I am fat. To do this, we use a one. This represents true. Again, if you wanna say false, you would use a zero. Now, the only real important number is zero, which represents false. All the other numbers represent true. So you don't have to use a one here. If you put any number, it's going to be stored as one. So I could put Caleb is fat equals 9,001. Now my fat level is over 9,000. But how do we actually output this data? Well, as always, we are going to use the printf function. And inside of here, we need a format string. We'll start with something like a question. Is Caleb fat? And then we'll just kind of give a key of what values are important. One is yes, zero is no. And the format character we are going to use is actually percent %i. That's because we're actually using integers. So percent %i, and then we'll go to a new line. The variable we are going to try to display is Caleb is fat. Now let's save it and run it. Is Caleb fat? One is yes, zero is no, one. So as you can see, according to my program, indeed, I am fat. Now this is cool and all, but a lot of this isn't very intuitive. For example, if we go back to our code, why in the world does this data type have an underscore and an uppercase B? That doesn't seem to match any of the other things we've learned. Also, using numbers is just kind of weird, like why can't we put true or false, for example? Well, that problem is going to actually be addressed in the next video. So hopefully you guys check that out where we are going to be exploring even more with Boolean data. Thanks, guys. Please be sure to subscribe, click like, and as always, I'll check you. I'm not going to check you out, but check, check out the next video. Thanks, and peace out.